Star Wars was a big influence on me because it was it came out in '77. I was born in '66, so I was right at the right age for that thing to hit. And it was before all the hype, you know. It was it was the first to kind of the popcorn blockbusters. You had that, and then you had Spielberg films. You had like Jaws and that. But before then, it was it was still the '70s, you know. I remember getting a call uh, from my agent saying that John Favreau wants to meet you uh, regarding a Star Wars project, and so I uh, immediately said, you know, when and where. Uh, I wanted to meet John Favreau. I didn't care what he wanted me to do. I had no idea what it was, whether it was a feature or, you know, a cereal box. I had no idea. I, I, I go and I meet John at his office and he invites me into this room that is basically, you know, um, corner to corner covered in story illustrations of this project that he's working on and there are all of these incredible images of uh, a Mandalorian character. In this case, since there's real things on the set, we have real cameras and real people. The sets are bigger than they were on Jungle Book, but it's essentially the same formula. And now instead of having a green screen, they had to move around in light, which took forever. And that was really the frustration that led to these innovations, which was how could we do that without green screens next time? And so that led to, do you have a green, a green stage? Do you have pre-lit green areas that you could expose? And, and then it turned into these video walls where you could have green just behind the actor and an interactive light, which we used on Jungle Book also for shadows and things on the characters which we were inspired by like Gravity where they had all those video panels. So it, it's like it, we took all the technology that I've been messing around with from all those other projects and applying it to a very specific application that would work for this. As I became a bit more of a student of filmmaking, I really began to appreciate the brilliance of Star Wars and, and what Lucas had created. And then I of course started to read more and the hero's journey and all those kinds of you know books and began to really appreciate Joe Campbell and what he was saying and understand a lot more then for me it became wow you know uh, it was beyond big groundbreaking Star Wars was it was in its own way uh, again like a crack into some sort of other universe that that I hadn't been exposed to, you know. Um, so it was a uh, it was pretty phenomenal. Uh, not only w what it was at the time, but what it has become.